What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I'm back with a mid-afternoon reading for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you guys are just, you know, relaxed and not letting um, too much things weigh in on your mind. All right? So I want to come bring you some clarity on whatever situation that is currently on your mind. I'll post some few cards. So we're going to ask Archangel Michael and Alegua to come protect me in the channel as I channel this amazing energy for you guys. So you guys are starting out with the scribe. You guys are starting out with the lovers in the middle. And then you guys are ending with the victim. Alright? So, this is letting me know that this, this there's a comic, alright, that has been altering facts and plagiarizing of the work, of this work, when it comes to playing the victim for positive feedback in a certain situation and the results of pity. All right. Whoever this is, not only was she altering facts, but she was plagiarizing work. So she was signing documents. She was signing contracts. She was doing illegal shit in a justice system. All right. She was scribing. She was doing a lot of shit to try to look in people's future. And then fuck it up by altering facts and plagiarizing others' work. She was stealing people's names. She was stealing people's information. All right. All because she was obsessive over a passion she had for somebody. And, and that passion was hurting others. She was, she was hurting other people's lives by plagiarizing others' works for her own greed. Okay. And then she wanted to play the victim. For, for positive feedback, all right? She wanted to plagiarize. She wanted to do all of this. She wanted to alter facts. And then when plagiarizing got caught up in the justice system, she wanted to play victim. When her alternating facts got caught up to her and she got, she got caught lying, she wanted to play the victim and gain positive feedback on why she did the things that she did, all right, in the form of pity. She wanted to throw a pity party, all right? And all of this just showed that this karmic had the inability to maintain a personal boundary. She had no personal boundary because she lacked integrity. All right. She lacked self-respect. And anybody that has to sign other people's names on dotted lines or try to go against people will for love. It shows how self-destructive one could be to their own life. All right. So let's see why all of, these, all of this is here. I'm hearing cry me a river. Look, a tower moment. Cry me a river because there's a tower moment happening for you altering facts and plagiarizing other people's work. So there's a lot of karma and tower moments for you um, signing people's names on contracts. Now you out of a house. Now everybody kicked out of the house and they blaming you because you the one who was the ringleader. And then you altering, you, you altering facts. That was supposed to help others see the truth and all the bullshit you accumulated. So cry me a river because you going through a tower moment right now. And when the tower moment come out, guys, nobody could run from the tower moment. That means that this comic is such a, is at a such low place in her life by altering facts and plagiarizing others' work that she can't run from it. And everybody looking at her, everybody looking at her like, they know why she did all of this shit. She did it for love, all right? Her obsession for this person harmed others. And now all her karma is coming back and she trying to cry me a river. Cry that to God. What else, spirit? A earth angel. I told you, the temperance. First of all, there's somebody gods. There's somebody guardian angel that's coming out to balance out the situation because they think that too much darkness was trying to infiltrate what was going on. All right. So that's why this person also is starting to be exposed for her altering effects and plagiarizing others' works because the divine is here now. All right. And the divine sees all and 
people want to pray to God and play victim when they know that they got caught, when they, in a, when they in the legal system and all the paperwork coming out and they name on it. All right, there's an angel here, somebody angel here that's causing major towel moments for this person. All right, because whoever this angel is, I feel like it belongs to a masculine, an earth angel. All right, and it's probably this lover's card because with this earth angel here, you know, I feel like this person had great passion or has great passion and devotion um, to appreciate someone. You know what I'm saying? Or something or just life, period. So let's see why this is here. Moving on. There's a towel moment happening where she's trying to run from, but she can't. Legal wise, karma, her lover left her. The family and friends know that she playing victim. Look. She playing victim because there's a love here. There's clearly a love here. Okay? There's clearly a union here. You can't hold hands by yourself. You can't pour into each other's cups by yourself. All right? It's the chemistry that you guys had. All right? You have great passion for one another, which is allowing you to preserve the knowledge and information that you get in from this person altering facts and plagiarizing other people's work. Whoever you with right now, you guys, uh, you know, I feel like whoever is entering your life that you love, all right, whether it's you doing this or your person, one of you guys are preventing the other from letting themselves be victimized, all right, or victimizing others, all right, because they may have picked up a victim mentality from the comment, all right, so... I feel like with this earth angel here and this two of cups, not only is this earth angel here to bring the tower in a comics life for altering facts, but this is somebody that's helping somebody that is assisting God and helping you. All right. And preventing you from letting yourself be victimized by this bitch. All right. Or victimizing others from manifesting that trait, you know, cause you can manifest that trait. Tell me more. Clarity. This is what I'm hearing. Look, and there you go. The death card. You could be a Scorpio. But once somebody comes into your life, right, with this death energy rebirth, it creates a veil to be lifted off of whoever was dealing with this comic. All right? So this reunion this union, this partnership that's here, it is very fresh. And the chemistry that you guys have, you guys are pouring into each other's cups separately. Meaning, being there with one another through this rebirth. And actually exposing the comet for the obsessive passion that harms others by plagiarizing others' works. Alright? This is actually preventing both of you guys from letting yourself be victimized. Or victimize others from a trait that you picked up by somebody always playing victim for positive feedback in a form of pity. So this relationship really, when a death card come out just as the tower card, that means there's a major ending to a rebirth in your life. Because whatever that this comic was feeding you and altering facts about and lying, it made you lift the veil and your life will be changed forever. You won't never deal with another comic. You won't even see this person in a in a in a in a in, a, in a, like in the same light you saw them before, because they just look like a liar. You know, you can respect a lot of shit, but when you dealing with a liar, that's bad. That's bad. And this person been altering facts. They been for some of you guys, this person been stealing your mail, so you won't get it. All right, all because. They had a obsessive passion for a person that actually destroyed them. Tell me more about this scribe. Why was this person alter? Wow. I couldn't even get the fucking shit out. So this person was alter altering facts and plagiarizing others' work and lying because she was afraid of a reunion coming together with two people that really loved each other that exposed her and really see that she was the cause of a lot of delays and interruptions all right so she feared a reunion that's here 
with two people that really loved each other. All right? That see things very clearly now. Okay? This masculine really sees how ever since he was little or young, this person been altering facts. All right? This person been obsessive as he aged. All right, this person been playing victim and he looking like, no, I see things clearly. Give me more on this scrub and why was she altering facts and um, plagiarizing others' work? Look, fighting, fighting, five of all, she was plagiarizing everybody' work, trying to beat everybody to the top in this relationship. All right, this bitch was obsessive. When I say obsessive, her passion was so self-destructive to her family and herself. Because the masculine is out. This is a lot of chaos and confusion and alterating. So she could kick everybody down. So she, she was trying to dim everybody light. So hers could shine. All right. And winds up getting left anyway. Because this masculine walked the fuck away. And left her ass right there burning. And that same passion she destroyed his life with. Okay, because look, the legal system in here now, I'm telling you, this lady done um, plagiarized so much work that this is not only karma. This is just a half of it. This is this year. She's going to be dealing with a lot of legal shit that's about to catch up to her. She already been getting the paperwork. She's already been trying to plagiarize it so that way she could get herself out, out of hot water. She's going down. She's going down. And then that's when, look, you got the two lovers caught here. This is divine love. She couldn't stop this. All right? What is this victim here for? Why was she playing victim for positive feedback in the form of pity and able to maintain her personal boundaries? All right? Because she weak. That's a dangerous person. When somebody is weak in mindset and weak in spirit and they find somebody to put them back in a place, another divine feminine, you killed their ego. What is this victim? Look, you killed their ego. All right? You killed their ego. When it comes to king, uh, uh, um, a queen of pentacles. You see? You know, what's happening is somebody is not being attached by materialistic things no more that this bitch had because... She has been alterating and plagiarizing, uh, plagiarizing people work to get the money. So this is not her natural ability. She lies and she steals people work to get the bag. And then she plays victim for positive feedback so people can feel sorry for her. But does somebody has been awakened. I feel like the masculine and the feminine has been awakened and they laughing at her. They laughing at her because this person... It's acting like nobody knows the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person would play victim and acting like nobody know. Nobody know. And everybody laughing at her. The masculine and the feminine. All right? They know that she don't have no money. They know that it's all in her head. They know that she's too comfortable and lazy and she a slouch. Spirit, tell me more about this tower happening. Crashing down. Look. Mm. She trying to figure out the plan. She don't have no money to pay the bills. She's sleeping on the floor. Collect this. She don't have no bed. She probably got to buy an air bed. Okay. And she trying to scrape up the little bit of money. The coins. That she have to pay the rent. She don't have it. Collect this. Look. And she looking to the masculine to help her. And the masculine is looking away like, no, bitch, you've been plagiarizing so much work that affected his foundation. Okay? His foundation. Because you got the emperor empress right out. She's been plagiarizing so much shit to stop true people to come together. All right? Look, by trying to string them along with money. That she don't have. And anytime she had the money, it wasn't really hers because she had to plagiarize. She had to lie. She had to alternate. Facts. She was a thief. Okay. But somebody got hit to that shit. See, when you fucking with a high priestess and the empress, that's who you going up against. 
And that's why her ego is killed because she never had a divine feminine to shut her weak bum ass down. And y'all did it. Y'all did it with pride. Y'all did it with elegance. All right. Y'all did it birthing something, birthing new opportunities. Okay. And y'all did it with your masculine. Okay. And there you go. The cycle is closed. There's been a chapter. She been a weak bitch. She needed to find another divine feminine to sit her ass down and put her on place and show her how much of a fucking pity party she was throwing that nobody attended. Nobody give a fuck about that bitch. Go cry yourself a river. And hopefully that'll initiate your healing process, bitch, because you see what we doing over here. We healing. Okay. And we see past your bullshit. We see past your bullshit because you a lame ass bitch. For trying, to, for trying to alternate and come up on plagiarizing other people's work. You no know, you know creative as individual, all right? No soul as chick, all right? Make way. Because niggas seeing past your bullshit, all right? Queen of Wands all fucked up. Got her hands out begging, looking like a panhandler. Burning ass on fire. You hear me shitting bricks. Bitches blind as fuck. Okay. Burning. Jumped into hot water. She didn't even give a fuck. You hear me? Look. Trying to trying to run after this masculine. This masculine done grew. This masculine done matured. And he getting the fuck up out of here. Alright. Kids or not. Them kids could get, get left behind. There's always new kids to be made. And that's what I feel like I got to disattach yourself from that. When a comic is making it hard to move forward in life because of a child, what you think a masculine going to do? It's a bunch of whole nother pussies out here that's motherfucking tight in these loose ass comics. With love, with prosperity, with magnetism, with good conversation, good qualities, integrity. Because these bitches have none of the above. Okay? Yeah. Because the emperor and empress, no matter fall apart, you can't keep those two souls connected if they real emperor and empresses. Okay? Y'all always been together energetically. All right? Y'all learned a lot about these comic-ass people in your life that was alterating fucking thing, even in the legal system. Okay, so look, straight to success. It's up from here, guys. It's up from here. All right? Everybody's under judgment. Everybody, if you see my last couple of readings, April Fool's, bitch. Because <laughs> y'all looking real foolish out here, baby. Okay? So y'all surrender the situation. All right? And boom, they can't fuck with you. You completely turn into a whole different person when they ask because they never had a divine feminine again as strong as you. I'm telling you, they always been weak, but it was the people that was around them that didn't see past the bullshit. So when they was altering facts, when they was altering paperwork and coming up in the legal system, people thought, oh, yeah, they doing good. Not until they met a high priestess. OK, that was built. To let them know. That that shit is not happening no more. It won't happen. Okay? And they know it won't happen. They they was too comfortable. Not a cushion out there. They was too comfortable. They was trying to they was trying to defeat the light. You hear me? But look at them. They not comfortable at all. Even when they cushion. They so fucked up in the head that they on the floor. I'm telling you, and for some of you guys, the tower hit them so hard where they sleeping on the floor. And they gotta have a pillow. All right, I'm telling you, they sleeping on the floor. All right, they're sleeping on the floor. They do not have no money, all right, because they lack mindset. The key is right there. But when you got a weak-ass bitch, they head always down. They head always down. When they by themselves, after after they, they take a shower and come to reality, that's when the weakness set in, all right? That's when they realize even with the key, they don't have the key because they bums. Look how they living. This is 2023. Talk about it. This is 2023. 
I don't give a fuck. Bums or not, we was doing last year. You see yourself progressing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not all about money. Again, poverty is a mindset. This is where our dreams is coming true in the age of Aquarius. These bitches is sleeping on the floor. All right? Why everybody's taking new beginnings? It's because of the mindset. You know why? It brings you back to this. Playing victim. Playing victim for positive feedback in a form of pity. So that way everybody could do shit for them. They want everybody to be like, no, pick your head up, you karmic ass bitch, and take the key. No, bitch. No. You broke. Broken mindset. Mainly. Everybody out enjoying their shit. All right? Having a motherfucking swell time. Let these people sit in their own misery. I'm telling y'all. Let these people go. Let these people go, y'all. All right? They altering facts. Plagiarizing people work. Obsessive with love. All right? Playing victim. When nobody don't give a fuck. And in the reading... Y'all got a divine feminine that is sitting everyone the fuck down because they never had a divine feminine like that. They had the divine feminines that was scared. Oh, do, 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 do. Oh, when they start screaming, oh, do, 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 do. no, bitch. Because the cause is telling, oh, you weak hoe. All right. That's how you got to talk to these people. They kids. They kids. Don't let nobody like make you feel like this is not what you see. <laughs> Whole time. They also in fact. You hear me what it said? And plagiarizing others' work. Having a bad motherfucking hair day. Sleeping on the floor. You hear me? Because they being obsessive with their passion. Okay? Playing a fucking victim looking stupid on the floor. Let's not forget that. On the floor when they should be praying. Look, they playing. Okay? Playing victim. That's what they doing for positive feedback in the form of motherfucking pity. Go cry me a river. <laughs> bitch matter of fact go cross the empress a motherfucking river you hear me i love you guys i'll be back with a with a um an um an evening reading but let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do signs like if y'all want me to do the um the individual signs for y'all let me know now um down in the comments or email me to uh see i could start that this week for y'all love you